so as far as wiring these fans is concerned, uh, the first connection is easiest. It's pretty obviously it's the pigtails, and they only go one way. So uh, coming off the fans, uh, just plug in the pigtails. I've got two fans, so I've got one there and one someplace else. I can't find it. Oh, here it is. There's pigtails right there. So then off the pigtails, you're gonna have a, there's a red wire and a black wire. And what I did was I uh, I used sandpaper and uh, sanded off a little bit of the paint where I connected the two black wires to ground them. And then I tested the ground uh, to test the ground and make sure it was a good solid ground. So what we've got so far is we've got fans and we've made that connection right there. And ground is to black, which we've done. And now these guys are gonna go to this relay. That is the relay. Coming from the relay, you got yellow, red, gray, and orange coming out of that relay. So what we're gonna do is our wires kind of here that are up there in the car, which is our red wire, is going to attach to the red wire coming off the relay. That guy right there, so red to red. So now the red is connected to the red for both of them. These butt connectors were nearly impossible to squeeze with the pliers. So I introduced another tool and some concrete. So this is completely out of the car now. So what, uh, now that I've got the two reds connected, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put everything back and reconnect the pigtails and reconnect my grounds. All right, next I'm gonna wire these guys up. Boom. This guy goes right to the battery. Right to the battery. So. So that's that. Also, I already put the fuses in. You can see the fuse, I think, is already in. So I'll put a fuse in each and So that from the fuse going to the battery. And on the other side, it's going back to the relay via the yellow cable. And another butt connector. You are going to want to figure out how much yellow wire and how much red wire you're going to want to use. For me, right now, I don't care. I am just trying to get the car back together and make sure everything works. So my situation is different from yours. I'm probably, I'm doing this just temporarily and I am probably going to end up uh, ripping these butts out and uh, soldering them permanently. I'm not worrying about length right now. So, if you do it the way I'm doing it right now, you're going to be messed up. Oh, put that one in that one, and that one in that one. So now I'm going to crimp them. Alright, that's good. So, that goes to the battery. These guys go to the battery. All right. All right. This, this is a 2002 Chevrolet Tahoe. So I can imagine that is probably the same for the Yukon, the same for the Silverado, Sierra. Uh, there's a little battery box here, auxiliary battery box. It goes straight to the positive side of the battery. See how this battery is? It's all sandwiched in here with these side loaders. Well, you can't really easily if at all connect well I suppose you could but psh, why uh, connect, connect to directly to the uh, positive side of the battery so if you follow that positive battery cable down you're gonna find yourself and to this convenient little red battery box and when we open it and when we open
open it. Look at that. A nice place to put our positive connections. So, whip out your 17 and get cracking on it. Alright, so our yellow wires are from a past step, are connected to the uh, inline fuses, and the inline fuses are um, into the battery box, and the battery box nut is tightened down, and those guys are sticking out the top. So, uh, on to the next connection. So, next, we got two more wires. We got gray which is going to go to the sending unit and we got orange which is going to ignition and then later we're going to add in this AC compressor one but uh, for starters let's just do gray and orange for now and we'll do from the relay the grays go to the sending unit pretty simple all right we're kind of under the car uh, we're looking at the driver's side uh, usually where the petcock is, or petcock, whatever you call it. Uh, I went ahead and put the sending unit right in where the petcock usually goes. There's a thermostat sensor on there. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, clip up the gray wires to that sensor. Alright, so for now I got both of them on there. But I'm pretty sure I could probably just uh, tap one into the other. I've done everything off the relay except for the orange. Orange goes to an ignition source, so I picked up these uh, blade fuse taps at the auto parts store. All right, for ignition. All right, for the orange wire, we need to get into this electrical box. And uh, I've identified a ignition location on the fuse box. It was this 15. Uh, that was right there. And it's uh, perfect because uh, by the way this silly thing is, it doesn't have it straight up, it has it sideways like that. So uh, anyhow, I can tap my orange lines together and then tap them into this guy right here. And then I'll have my uh, ignition. And now I'll just hook uh, my orange lines together and tap it into there and be real close. Real close. All right, so for the orange lines, I'm coming up off the relay. And I'm going to the box. I drilled a little hole in the box so that I could uh, get in there clean. And then it comes out right there, and it's going to come around. And it'll, those orange lines will get hooked up via my homemade connector. And they'll both go into the red jumper. And I'll be able to put the cover back on. And uh, it's ugly, but the cover will cover it. So I'm not too worried about it. So here is the net result of my homemade three-way connector and I'll be able to just stuff it in the box there and put the lid on it and the lid will fit flush. And it comes out. And that's that. Alright, they came on. I think they came on at 195. back in a couple minutes see if they're cooling. <laughs> 